EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby March is here with your outlook for February 22nd, 2021. For your Monday, as you can see behind the image, uh, with the green screen image behind me, we have the snow falling because that's what we're expecting today. Uh, actually, areas that are going to be marginal with temperatures and a little bit further south will still start as snow, I think. And um, it's going to be coming down pretty good here for a little bit once we get this started. I think it comes in uh, generally very early in the morning here in our central PA locations as we and it moves eastward from there. Uh, by the time it gets to the far eastern part of the state, it's generally mid to late morning. And uh, it should be about noon or so by the time we get it across New Jersey. So uh, this is going to move in from west to east today. And it will be snowing at a pretty good clip. Some areas might get inch, one inch per hour rates for a time when it comes down pretty heavy uh, for a very short amount of time. It's not a long uh, period of time. We're looking at, uh, at any given location having about four, maybe five hours tops of precipitation no matter what it is, whether it's snow or rain. I think further south, you'll start off as snow and then you will transition over to rain before it ends. And that would be across south central PA, southeast PA. Uh, and, and parts of central New Jersey for that to occur. But this is going to end mid to late afternoon, and it's off the coast by late afternoon, and we will turn partly cloudy overnight. So let's get over to the NAM High Res Future Simulator Radar, and I'm going to start this off at 7 a.m. You can see it move, the snow moving into our western regions at this point, and it's going to steadily make its way eastward. So here's 9, here is 10, here's 11, here is noon, and we, just about everybody's under the gun at that point. So you can see where it's snow all the way down to the Mason-Dixon line here. And areas further north will have no problem being snow and accumulating snow up in these areas. But as it moves through, and just about before the time it ends here, it starts ending as rain in a few spots across south central and uh, southeast PA and also parts of central New Jersey that started off as, as snow. So because of that, uh, and the marginal temperatures that are further south, we have a little bit less down in those areas. And you can see that here by our snow map. Uh, which looks like this. This is our snow map that we have for this uh, particular event. Move this up a little bit so you can see it. Uh, but the area, in, area C down here to the south in the gray area, that is a coating to an inch. It is possible that somebody gets a little bit over an inch from that. It's going to be temperature dependent, and that's going to be like a localized thing because sometimes you get, you know, one town will be about 33, 34, and maybe, you know, five miles away it's 32. So you can hang on to the snow a little bit longer, might get over an inch. But down in these areas, I think it's non-paved surface accumulations for the most part. And if you do get any paved surface accumulations, it's going to be very brief, where it just coats the roads or park uh, the uh, parking lots or driveways, that kind of thing. But then as it lightens up, it, it, it melts pretty quickly. So you will get a coating to inch of snow here and, at a minimum. And then up in these areas in area B, which is the lighter blue, uh, we're looking at a 1 to 3 inch snowfall. This is going to be, again, focused on elevation with it, where you're closer to the one in the lower elevations or the marginal areas along this line here, further south, okay? Uh, but you could get up to three in the higher elevations and northern parts of some of these marginal counties will be in the two to three inch range, I think. And it, again, it's possible somebody might go a little bit over three. It is entirely possible that it happen. Again, if it's going to depend on rates and if you get the heavier rates over you while it's sufficient to, uh, to accumulate with the snow, and their jackpot area here is favoring ele uh, elevation areas, area A in the dark blue. That is a three to five inch area. So if this were a perfect world and everything was falling as snow everywhere, it's the middle of January, you don't have to deal with sun angle, late February, you don't have to deal with it falling during the day with marginal temperatures. And let's just say everybody across the entire region was exactly 25 degrees and no sun, sun angle issues, you get a three to five inch event out of this. That's what it would be. So those are the areas in Area A that are going to get that because they're not, really not going to have it. They'll be able to overcome with colder temperatures. And the sun, sun angle is really not going to play a role up there. So you're going to get every surface have accumulations in Area A, which is the higher elevation areas. Area B is generally going to be lower elevations, probably struggle to get on the roadways, but the higher elevations uh, certainly will do better with that, with uh, accumulations. That's what we have indicated here in the chart. So elevation dependent is going to be more of a common theme going forward. With these events as they come through but this is off the coast here uh, by late afternoon and then that's out of here so that's going to be a, our, our system today it is just a cold front moving through with the association an association with an area low pressure that's moving through southeastern canada today all right so once that moves through on tuesday we're going to have a warm front move through in the afternoon so you would have a, across our northern areas northeast pa northern new jersey you could see a snow shower with that or two 
not a real big deal, but then that uh, pushes through. We're going to get into the lower 40s, as you can see here below my image on the uh, uh, video. Tomorrow's low 40s with, uh, with uh, call partly to mostly cloudy skies. And then, uh, for, again, northeast PA, north central, or northeast PA and northern New Jersey uh, could have a few snow showers rotating through during the afternoon. After that point, we're going to surge with the temperatures here on Wednesday. And uh, this is going to be ahead of a cold front. It's hard to see here, but there is a cold front that is situated back here like this, and that's going to be moving through. It's in association with this area of low pressure moving up up here. So you have a southwesterly wind flow out ahead of this, and that's going to get your temperatures really to climb ahead of the warm front, and we might make a run of 50 degrees in some areas on Wednesday. If not, you're going to be in the upper 40s. It's going to be pretty close. So a lot of snow melt we're expecting on Wednesday for areas that have that deep snowpack. This front will move through overnight on Wednesday night. Could be a stray shower with that as it does so. And then we get to cooler temperatures on Thursday, but still partly cloudy. Not cold, really. It's going to get back to about uh, 40, 42-ish for highs. And then we get back into the 30s again for highs on Friday with high pressure right over top of the region. We're expecting mostly sunny skies. Now, the next system coming in could have a wintry start to it, but I think it's going to be brief. And primarily, this is going to be a rain event. This is our uh, storm signal we had listed in the Long Range Outlook. It's actually coming a little bit late. We had it on the 26th. It's coming in overnight on the 26th into the 27th, which is Friday night into Saturday. Could be a little bit of wintry start at the onset. It uh, doesn't look like a big deal, and then it kind of goes over, to, then it goes right over to uh, rain. The areas that are going to have any kind of accumulations that would be noteworthy most likely be in the elevation areas of northeast PA further to the north as it, look, as it looks right now. But we'll continue to monitor that just in case. But it does look like it's going to change over to rain everywhere as we're going to be on the milder side of average here uh, as we get into Saturday. And then we get a little bit of a break Saturday night and Sunday. And then we have increasing clouds on Sunday ahead of our next system, which also looks like it's going to be bringing more rain and warmer air into the region. And that's the second storm signal we had in the long range, which was the 28th through the 1st. So storm signals, again, this time of year, not the same meaning as we had when we had listed storm signals back in you know, December and January. We put those storm signals for something happening a week, two, three weeks in advance, and they came to pass. It was because the, uh, you know, the temperatures are colder then. Now we're dealing with a lot more marginal stuff. It's still a storm, still a storm signal. Storm signals are there. The storm is there. But these are going to be a lot more marginal situations. You might be looking at more like slop systems or snow starting off as snow or ice or whatever then going over to rain. So I think that's what we're going to be dealing with going forward at least through the next 10 days. So we'll uh, we'll deal with one of these at a time as they come. Today, of course, we have this system coming through that we're going to be monitoring closely. But uh, again, I think that the amounts are pretty much set. The areas are pretty much set. And I think we're not going to be making any changes to that. But some areas might overperform a little bit and get a little bit higher if you get into that heavier banding of snow and you're at a temperature where it can stick. So if you're in a 1 to 3 area and you squeak out 3.5 or even 4, that's certainly possible, but that's probably the upside from this system. I'm EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for February 22nd, 2021. Have a great Monday.